opening with the queen's pawn controls the center and usually leads to a more positional development of the pieces. d5 establishes a presence in the center, controls the e4 square, and opens up the light squared bishop. The queen's gambit offers up a wing pawn to attack the center and distract black from the e4 square. In the Slav defense, c6 supports the d5 pawn. Nf3 controls the e5 square and protects the d4 pawn. Nf6 develops the knight toward the center, adds support to the d5 pawn, and controls the e4 square. Nc3 attacks the d5 square and starts to fight for the e4 square. e6 supports the d5 pawn and allows the dark squared bishop to develop. Bg5 ignores the attack on the c4 pawn and develops the bishop, pinning the knight on f6. This kicks an opposing bishop. This move puts the bishop on a safer square. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. This defends the attacked pawn. This develops a knight off its starting square, getting it into the action. This activates a queen by developing it off of its starting square. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. This develops a rook off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is the last book move. That's not a mistake, but it's not the best move either. It is good. That's a sensible reply. It is excellent. A very strong play. It is excellent. This activates a bishop by developing it off of its starting square. It is good. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is best. The rooks can see each other now, allowing them to provide mutual defense. It is excellent. This activates a rook by developing it off of its starting square. It is good. This threatens to kick a knight. It is good. This misses a better way to reveal an attack on a bishop. It is an inaccuracy. This is a fair move. It is good. Recaptures. It is best. A solid choice. It is excellent. Takes back. It is best. Recaptures. It is best. This allows the knight to control more squares. It is good. This attacks a knight, winning a tempo when it moves away. It is best. This is the way to win a pawn. It is best. Takes back. It is best. This captures a vulnerable pawn. It is best. This wins a tempo by threatening a queen and forcing it to move away. It is excellent. This moves the queen to safety. It is good. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. This is the strongest option. It is best. That's fine. It is good. This defends a pawn that was under attack and had no defenders. It is best. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. It is good. This is an equal trade. It is best. Recaptures. It is best. This misses a better way to defend a knight that was under attack. It is an inaccuracy. That's not a mistake, but it's not the best move either. It is good. This wins time by threatening a rook and forcing it to move away. It is excellent. There was only one good move in that position. This ignores an opportunity to defend a rook that was under attack. It is a mistake. There were worse moves, but also something much better. It is an inaccuracy. This mobilizes the knight, allowing it to control more of the board. It is good. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is excellent. Recaptures. It is excellent. This is a fair move. It is good. That's fine. It is good. One of the best moves. It is excellent. This offers an equal trade of pieces. It is good. This is not the best. It is an inaccuracy. This is not the right idea. It is an inaccuracy. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. It is best. After all captures, 
this is an equal trade. It is excellent. Takes back. This is the start of the end game and black is equal. It is best. This defends a pawn that was under attack and had no defenders. It is best. Very precise. It is best. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. Recaptures. It is best. This misses a better way to defend a pawn that was under attack. This allows the opponent to activate the king by getting it off of the back rank. It is a mistake. That's a sensible reply. It is excellent. That's not a mistake, but it's not the best move either. It is good. A very strong play. It is excellent. This is a fair move. It is good. This overlooks an opportunity to activate the king by getting it off of the back rank. It is an inaccuracy. A solid choice. It is excellent. This misses an opportunity to defend a pawn that was under attack. It is an inaccuracy. Takes back. It is best. That's fine. It is good. That's not a mistake, but it's not the best move either. It is good. This pins a knight to the king. It is best. This takes an open file, a common method for activating a rook. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This is a fair move. It is good. That's fine. It is good. This immobilizes the opponent's knight by pinning it to the king. It is best. The rook is now on an open file, which helps control squares across the board. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. That's not a mistake, but it's not the best move either. It is good. This is a fair move. It is good. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Both players had a nice end game.